of Jesus see you through. I will always pray for you. As all of us we go our separate ways. Not good to read, we go the test. When we see you again, oh how God can bless me and bless you too.
over uh, to a new num in a number place where you now have the local government code up before the number, then the alphabet that we use to generate those. Remember, we are operating the alphanumeric system. There's the alphabet and the numbers, and this. and we used to have the local government at the end. Mm -hmm. while the first two alphabets that we used to generate those codes, uh, those numbers at the front. So in September, we had to change it for some reasons, which is that as a law enforcement agent, when you want to pick the number of your vehicle, if you look at everything in our the, the, the local government code is very important. Mm -hmm. But that local government code was at the end. Okay. So at times you pick AA, you get one, two, three, before you could get the real local government code, which is what you will need to be able to because trace, the, trace, yeah, the, trace the vehicle. All the local governments in Nigeria, by the 446 local governments, I think, they all have code. 776. 776, sorry. They all have codes. Now, those codes are unique to every local government. So if I get the local government code and I get the number, I am already close to what we are looking for. And I know the state, which is boldly written. So we have to change the lettering in that order. Now, when we changed it, we said, OK, let people keep on using it. But uh, they, if you go the old and the new, mm -hmm. but as you are buying your vehicle, you are changing to the new, mm -hmm. then those of us that have already registered in the old system, please, when you are renewing your license, you renew to the new. new. Okay. Now, that was uh, much expressed uh, by the Joint Tax Board in their case that they released on the 28th of November 2016. Because somebody, initially we said everybody should just change. And I said, no, it would be fair, unfair to people whose driver's license, uh, vehicle license had not expired. Mm -hmm. Because I know there were court issues on this. Somebody went to court to challenge, why must I change? when my vehicle license have not expired, the court gave ruling, okay, we appealed, because the person was even saying we did not even have the statutory right to even uh, determine what his number plate should be and all those stuff. And we went, appealed it and got a judgment. And in that judgment, it was like, look, if somebody's vehicle license has not expired, telling him to change is like double taxation. Yep. So, Please, it should be that if your vehicle license expires, yes. as you are changing, you change to do. Then JTB echoed it in their uh, 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 communique in 2016. So please, let it be this way. We have not gotten any other court judgment saying otherwise. Now, what's up, what we started in 2011, uh, we felt that by now, Anybody who is a law-abiding citizen should have actually changed. So what brought all the whole furore recently mm -hmm. is just because you felt that you have, you, you have not changed your decision to where you should be. And we know you've been renewing your driver's license, except if you are, your vehicle license, except if you have not been renewing your vehicle license. And if you are not also renewing your vehicle license, you are also violating because you are evading tax. It's a road tax, so to say. So, and um, some people went... Uh, to this uh, social media writing FRS in this and FRS that we needed to clarify the air and um, the national headquarters said okay I think to be fair on all sides and what we will now do is if we get you you have not changed we give you an advisory slip an advisory slip uh, by way of advisory enforcement is we take all your details and give you that slip that as you are renewing your vehicle license, please renew uh, to the new. The new number plate. Right. Good. Okay. With the database we have, when we give you advisory slip, we go back again and impute it. The next time we, are, we get you in that decision and we go through it and we discover that we have given you this advisory slip before, we now know that there is, uh, you, are, you, are, you are now a, a willful offender. Let me put it that way. So the cost of the renewal yes. hasn't changed from what it was before? No, 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 no. no. Because I, I think some people were concerned about the cost of renewal. I, I, I think it has not changed. And let me be honest with you.
everything about the issue of the costing as determined by the GTB, you know that we are not even involved in the sales per se. It is the motor uh, licensing authorities that are in charge of all, all those um, aspects of it. What has always um, varied the cost of uh, number plates from state to state has always been the law of demand and supply. Right. That's okay, it. Okay. the state determined this. The disapproved JTB uh, fee for all categories of um, number, number plates, mm -hmm. but it varies from state to state because of all the documents that are attached to it. For you cannot register your number plate in isolation with your vehicle license. So there's also a fee for vehicle license, which you are also to have to impute into the cost of the plate. There is also a fee for your uh, certificate of uh, insurance. Because as you are doing it, your insurance report is also changing. Your vehicle license is changing. If it's a commercial uh, vehicle, your hackney permit, your roadworthiness certificate, they must bear the same number. And that's why we're also saying that when you are renewing this document, it should be such that you are renewing to the new so that all of them will be uniform. Okay. So um, commercial vehicles are the ones with the red. Correct. And then the normal ones are either blue or black. Am I correct? Blue, yeah. Yes. yes. No, but it's blue or black. Some, blue. some are black. Blue, blue, private, private, you get it on blue. Okay. Uh, red on the uh, commercials. Okay. Then when you go to the armed forces and this, you see black. Oh, security. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, now tell us what exactly um, is the benefit of this new number plate? Okay. It enhances our security in terms of having a data of who did what at what point in time. Okay. All the crimes that are committed today in Nigeria. It doesn't matter whatever. You notice that the road mode is still the most frequent used by everybody. Now, you kidnap, you take a vehicle, or you do whatever. That vehicle must have an identity. Because the number plate is like the identity of the vehicle. Okay. We call it actually, the, the number profiture term is vehicle identification number plate. That is what you use to identify this vehicle. And the new number we came up with is now tied to the individual and no longer tied to um, the vehicle, as in the old. Because if you say something, you are changing something, you must have an inherent advantage. Today, we have numbers that are now tied to individual. If a letter is registering in her vehicle, she registered it in her name and everything, and when you decide to sell, Please remove that number, return it to the local the, the, the licensing office. And if he is going to now, the, the one that bought your vehicle, he too should go to the licensing office and go and take a number that is also tied to his name. So for security reasons, it makes things very easy. We had a situation where vehicles were going from hand to hand, you sell vehicle to him, he did not even care to do change, change of ownership. ownership. So he uses the vehicle to commit a crime. We still come, the, 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 the data is still reading in your, in your name. Yeah. So it, at the end of the day, it becomes very difficult to track the real person that committed this crime. Now, in the, in the, in the database also, you notice that we now tied a lot of things again to this number plate. If you are registering your vehicle, we also ask you for the number of your, your driver's license number. So you input it. Everything you have given us when you were doing your driver's license, they are also there. So if I go into the database of the number plate and I look at all the forms you have filled, your, number, your driver's license number is there. I want to trace you further. I also now key in the number of that number into the distance and I bring further information about you. So with what we have now, you can actually trace um, a criminal to his bedroom and you pick him. Hmm. Okay. Trust it. Okay. I have seen your men with some kind of equipment on the road yeah. that looks like a phone. Yeah. And if we go into the, 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 the database, hmm. we will have your address. We will have everything about the listing. So it's a case of write that same ticket and serve you the rates of summons. 
ask him okay. that the person has put the correct address in. We, we, we are, there, are places, there are places you don't like. Each time you buy a car, with the euphoria that you, you buy a car, you want to register it profile so that nobody will take it. So that is one thing that, yeah, so for, to enhance our security system in this place, uh, this country, I think we need to get it right. What we are having now is that the people that are still operating the old number plate, if anything happened to their vehicle, the Federal City Con, the police, every security agent will be helpless. And on a daily basis, I get tons and tons of reports from other sector agencies asking, we need verifications on this. We need verifications on this. And when we get it, from Interpol, from the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the DSS, you have to supply this information. And you want to so trace. I thought, the, I thought the, the database, from wherever they are, yeah. they all have access and they can just type in and get this data. They don't have to send you well, right. mails or requests. So at, at times, when they do not just have the this, and they find it more convenient just telling us to supply. But ideally, we have done it in such a way that our IVP portal, your information verification portal, which is open to everybody, you you, you can just uh, uh, access. Open to everybody? It's open. You can go so there. But the only thing is that for you, when you want to verify, you have, there is some little cost attached to it. But for sister agencies, it's, it's free so for us. Can I the one, that is, your, can the I one that is open to you is limited. The one that is limited to you is limited because we know that you can now go and type somebody so that you can go and get the address where the man is going living so that they will not come after you know we, we did it now. We can just, at the best, we tell you this number is attached to this category of vehicle. That is the much you can see. But when we go, we will in, not know you the, will not know the address, so you will not know the phone number, you will not know the nest of king. But when I go in with my password, I can yeah, access yeah, everything. So I can't. I mean, I know Alera's car number, so I cannot get that. If I just get the number and type it in, I can't get Alera's name. At the best, you know, you can you can get you can you, you, even if you you get his name, you can get his address. At the best, you'll be able to know that Alera's this car is properly registered. Um, this number is registered to a Toyota Camry or Hyas, uh -huh, and it belongs to this person. But full that stop. is all. Full stop. Where does the person live? Him, you know where. What is his phone details? What is the name of Isn't that name? risky? How? I'm, I'm just wondering, isn't it if I can find out the name of the person and, and all Isn't it risky? You can't can you can go far. You can't go far. As a matter of fact, if it's, it's, mm. it's, you can't go far in just knowing. My you know name. my name? I didn't so major. Okay. He owns so, the what, 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 what else do you want? Where are you okay. Okay. Me? What if? Because I'm asking this, because all this work, mm. okay, maybe I watch too much of television. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone sent you a, a picture, says, um, pick up Omeji, Ajinus Omeji, at, yeah. hold on, pick up Ajinus Omeji at Opik. I have never seen Ajinus Omeji. Would I see, but I have Ajinus Omeji's car number. Would I see Ajinus Omeji's picture when I go to the website? <laughs> no, I'm just asking. No, no it's just no, his name no, out. No, 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 no. The, the, the way it is done is such that um, it's secured. Okay. You can, you can, the you other can question I want to ask is the quality of these new number plates. Because of recent, I noticed that the peel. Exactly. The I was peel. driving behind one two days ago and I could not see the number. It was completely white. Good. I'm happy that you asked. Because when our men also arrest people for issues of number plates, people get to wonder what is wrong with my plate and this. The moment your number plate becomes defaced, obscure, it's, it's a violation. And some of us do not know how to take care of our cars, our vehicles, including the number plates. Each time you are just washing your car with detergent, even the original can uh, color is changing. So those uh, pins and all those things, in which the chemicals, especially for people who take their vehicles to car wash and they mix all sorts of chemicals because they want to uh, impress you by washing the car, it looks very really interesting. And you discover that over a period of time, the plate number becomes defaced. If it becomes defaced, you owe it a duty to go back again to the licensing office so that they can um, either reprint or recruit for you the same number. 
because if it is defeated, then the whole purpose is defeated. We must um, uh, why, uh, why? at a distance. Have you noticed that the old number plate never? I mean, didn't have that kind of situation of defacing. So why which, do we have this one? Which old number? Even this. Even when number, we are, when no, we are, when we are going to sign right now. The earlier plate. <laughs> <laughs> the earlier plate that was. Excuse me, you want to take us back? <laughs> Hold on. The earlier plate in yes. this new number plate. Yes. That were made. Mm -hmm. Didn't deface easily, but this new ones quickly just wear out. What happened? Why? Why the drop in quality? Well, I, I think, um, like I said, beyond uh, not handling it properly, I I can't really uh, pinpoint whether it is the quality of the paint or whatever that they are using. But then, I think to me, what I have noticed is it is the handling. Okay, the another handling. question is, what's more important? Because it's not every, my own has never peeled. What's more important? I'm sure your own, has, your, your, own, your own have not also not peeled. peeled. <laughs> it's about handling. The question honestly. is, what's more important? The number or the fact that it's a plate issued by the uh, licensing office. Which one is more important? That I can see the number so I can go to an artist to, I mean, in print for me uh -huh. on a plastic bowl, on a plastic surface. That, that's that's can, a Hold on. <laughs> which you can easily see. Hmm. Or that I go to the licensing office to get that metal plate that can deface. Which one is more important? I, I'm happy when uh, a letter was introduced. He said a national uniform licensing scheme. The question if I it is, is no longer in line what with what is more if it's important. It's no longer uniform. Mr. Then Major, it is not. It, if what it is, is the important? Illegal, it is illegal. <laughs> what is the important? The number or the look? All are very important. The number must conform with the uniformity of the scheme. The look in terms of the eligibility must also be there. Okay. But we have seen some plastic ones. That's violation, as I said. And let me use this to so clarify. Men should have accosted them since they, 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 they allow do. them through. They do. Yeah. Let me let me let me also use this opportunity to clarify this. If your number is obscure or is broken for any reason, mm. the ideal thing to do is to just on a black surface. The, the number could be temporarily written with a white paint on it, on a black surface. Mm -hmm. And that is the licensing okay. office and um, procure new one, okay. as the case may be, and then affix. It is not for you, and you must also, like, assuming it's lost, you must also have your um, police report and affidavit. And it's very important because that number plate that you lost, that you never did anything for, could be used to commit crime. Yeah. And if it turns that way, then you have yourself to blame Thank when you. the security agencies come after you. Thank you very much. So yes. we now know how important our licensed um, plates are. Yes. And uh, when you are renewing your um, road tax, please make sure that you get the new uniform. Please. Yes. When you, are, when you are renew your vehicle license, yes. ensure you... At the same time, if you are still on the old, migrate to the, to the new. new one. Okay. By dropping the old and picking the new. The new. Mr. Hygienus Omeje, Lagos State Sector Commander, Federal Road Safety Corps. Thank you very much for coming to put us in the know of this new development. Thank you very much. Sunrise will continue.